Hello everyone, welcome to this episode of Alt Tutorials. My name is Lydia and in this video I'm going to show you how you can convert curves or mesh to air particles in Blender 2.82. Let's get started. <music> character for this tutorial I'm going to convert one of our braid to this particular one here I'm going to convert it to air particle this is actually make, made up of curves so I'm going to convert this to air particles then let me hide this let me show this then I'm going to convert this polygons here these meshes I'm going to convert them to air particles too so we'll be we we'll need an add-on to do this I'm going to paste this link in the um, description below. So when you go to github.com, jadal, airnet, and releases, you see this add-on. So you have to select this latest version and download airnet. So when you click on it, it's just 11.5 KB. So when you have this, you go to your software, then you install it. Mine is already installed here. So just check it and activate so when you do that you see this option here at the side hnet that's the nnet um panel so we we'll need it so the first thing you do is you have to select the comb or the mesh and shift select your object so right now i'm going to, i've selected the braid curve if i go to edit mode if i go to edit mode you see that this is a curve I just add a bevel thickness to it so if I select the curve and shift select the body if I click on add air from curve I'm going to get this arrow the reason why I did this is because I wanted to show you so let me undo to convert your curve to air particle make sure you have no thickness so my ass is 0.1 so I'm going to move it to zero so it's still there the one I'm showing right now is this so that's what I showing. So the air particle is actually still there. This curve, the sorry, the curve part, the curve is still there. So I've selected the curve without any bevel or thickness, and shift select the character. So add air from curve. So I have this. This is still not looking great for now. So let me go to the. <coughs> air settings then under simple i'm going to reduce the radius then bump up the viewport display from two to seven so we have this so another thing i can see you see that this air is a little bit lower than the actual air itself so before you convert to air a particle you have to make sure you freeze the um your transform so you click on ctrl a and all transform so when you do that i'm going to select it again you select the body then add air from curve so by doing this it's just going to be perfect so now if i reduce the if I increase the parts from 2 to 7, then reduce the radius. I'm going to hide this for now. So you can see what we are doing. Reduce the radius. Then increase display amount. So you can add other things, the clump. So this is all we have right now. Let me just increase the display amount. Let's say thirty. Now well, let me add a material to this. Come here and click on mats. So I have this. Let me increase for the render. Let me increase this to seven two. So this is what we have. 
So I'm going to increase the uh, reduce diameter. Right now we have the root is at 100, but this doesn't look like an 100. So you come here to the um, render properties and change the head type from strand to strip. So by doing this, when, when I go back here, yeah, you see this is actually looking like a hundred. So I will use this to, let's say two, or oh, let me increase it. Then we do increase the tip to, so let's say four, four. So, so now we are going to see our settings, the correct settings. So I can take this to 100. Yeah, it's looking more like it. Or let's say 300. Then you can increase the, you see it's really rough. You can increase the settings by going to the render properties and additional subdivision can increase from zero to one or to two. So it's looking smoother than what it was. Or you can increase it to three. So you have a braid from curve to air particle. So now let me convert this polygon here from a mesh to air particle. So to do this, select the polygon, shift select. Let me reduce this so it doesn't slow us down. Let me reduce this to 30, which I've done. Then I'll select the air, shift select the mesh, and click on add air from sheets. I'm going to have no seam was defined. So you have to make sure you mark a seam which will be the root of the air. So if I go to edit mode, let me isolate. But the problem now is this is already marked as marked as seam, but it's still giving me the error. So what I realized is that you have to make sure it's not just two edges. You have to have at least one in the middle here for it to work. So now if I select this and and select the object, the parent, then add air from sheet. It's going to add it, but look at it down here. It's not what we want. So let me undo. Like I said before, make sure you freeze your transformation. You apply your transformation or transform. So after doing this, select the the particle, uh, which is uh, select the mesh, which is this. Shift select the main body and do that again. Add air from sheets. So we have it here. So now I can reduce the radius of the air, increase the counts, and do all sort of settings that I want. Use the roots. So I can just pick these. Reduce the root from 100 to 20, just the other settings, the root to let's say 10, and all other ones. But another thing I'm going to show you is you can pick a particle system from the, a previously made particle system and use that. So I'm going to delete this here. I'm going to use the particle system from this bray, which is which is NX003. So I'm going to select this. Let me just combine all these as one. So we'll do them together. Ctrl J, isolate so I can mark the base. Then shift select the body, add air from sheets. Oh, I didn't apply. Sorry. Shift A, all transformation, then shift select. So add there from sheets. So before doing this, I can always select another a particular um, system before I actually create it. So let me undo. Then down here, I'm going to click on NX03, which was from the previous one that we made. So it's going to use this. And you can add subdivision to your um, polygon. But I'm going to leave mine the way it is. And shift select the A. So I'll click on add air from sheets. So by doing this, you see that it copied the settings from the previously made air particle. So you can do it. instead of creating from scratch, you can just create from the previous one. So if you notice something, you see that this air particle, this particular one moved when we created another one. One thing you should do with air particles is after creating the air, make sure you go to the particle 
system and make sure you comb it. It might not be much, just make sure your your brush touched it to key the position. If not, it might move just like this did. So that it moved the other time. So you have to make sure you key the position. You don't have to brush it much. You can just you can even reduce the strength. Just make sure you touched the air strand. So by doing this, even if I create another particle system, the shape will always be there. It won't move around, it won't mess up the shape. So just make sure you brush. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel if you've not done so. Click on the notification bell to get notified every time we upload videos like this. And until next time, stay true to your creativity. Bye bye.